Hi, I'm Raleigh Brown, and this is another Curve Flattening Concert. We are on the air in southeastern Pennsylvania on Monday, August 22nd. People are just starting to show up. Mike Verbeck is the first guy to show up on my stream here. Good to see you, Mike. Slim Edelman is here, and Warren Bendler and Janelle. And Charlie Bryant, the Clown Prince. Have I mentioned lately how much I love this guitar? got more sound than it has any right to and I thank thank my buddy Mario who's one of the invisibles here for building it for me so Kathy Marsick is here and Rich Fowler and Dave Mason from Scotland hope you're doing okay over there Dave and uh, we had we actually had some rain here last night actually a good amount of rain this morning I clink to you. I'm doing real coffee today. Mmm. It may screw up my singing, but <clears throat> life is short and coffee is good. So, hello to you all. Tom Maynard is here, and uh, who else did I miss there? Deb Leiby Clark. And Helene Tober Fowler, the Fowler family is all here. And Bunny Barnes, back from her sojourn at the Philadelphia Folk Festival. And Jerry Gilbertson, hi, Jer. John Sprouse, good to see all you guys. I guess I ought to sing something for you. Um, I'm going to open up today with a song by my dear friend, Kate Campbell. And Kate lives down in Nashville, but she is, she is in Nashville, but not of Nashville. She is of the South in a, in a bigger way. Anyhow, Lauren Payne is here. Hi, Lauren. And Aretta and Ron. Got a coffee table made of mahogany. Cigarette burns, water stains, but that don't bother me. I won it at an auction ten years ago. I put my feet up on it and watched the fights on HBO. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I am the greatest, said Muhammad Ali. But I've got Joe Lewis's furniture in my den. Twelve years running, world heavyweight champion. And in my book, He's the best that's ever been. You can't take that away from him. You come from Alabama. You didn't come from much. He fought his way up to the top lost his money to the government so here I sit in his old chair something about this just don't seem fair float like a butterfly sting like a bee I am the greatest Said Muhammad Ali, but I've got 
Joe Lewis's furniture in my den. Twelve years running, world heavyweight champion. And in my book, he's the best that's ever been. You can't take that away from him. No. I worked hard all my life. Nothing to show but a poor man's pride. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I am the greatest, said Muhammad Ali. But I've got Joe Lewis's furniture in my den. Twelve years running, world heavyweight champion and in my book he's the best that's ever been you can't take that away from him no no Take that away from him. Joe Lewis's Furniture by my old pal, Kate Campbell. And uh, if you don't know the story of Joe Lewis, you should go look him up. He was probably, uh, on, uh, in most ways, to the extent you can compare fighters from different eras, he probably was the greatest ever. And, uh, you know, he was the heavyweight champion for 12 years running. And uh, the government hounded him. He gave huge amounts of money, did huge benefits for the government during the war. And then instead of allowing that money to be considered a donation to the government or even taxes in advance, the government said he had made it as income and he had to pay taxes on it. So they just hounded him. Uh, uh, he was paying huge amounts of penalties every year, and he just spent the rest of his life trying to catch up. Just a typical case of um, uh, being guilty of being a great athlete while being black, just like the government hounded Muhammad Ali about the draft. So, we are not a lily white nation, but I digress. So, um, let's see who else is here. Carol Pred, I see. We have a nice little crowd here. S.A. Tudhope, Connie Adams, hi, you guys. And uh, Toby Simmons is here from the West Coast. Owen O'Malley down there in South Jersey. And uh, John Sprouse, I think I might have mentioned. And Michael Tierson. Hey, buddy. And uh, who else? Michael Anthony Wood in, in Southwest Oklahoma. I will see you at Winfield, my friend. It looks like th in, unless something extreme happens. And uh, Michael Tierson, it is Kate's song, my buddy Kate Campbell. And Ken Terrell is here from the UK. Hello, all you guys. And Linda Worster, I see, is here by virtue of, of Kathy Marzik mentioning it. And Bobby Forrest out, out west. Hi, Bobby. Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're hanging in there with Errol. So... Um,
gonna sing no lonesome tune Oh babe, I'm a-coming soon I can't believe I've been so long away But a man must look around And you're the sweetest thing I've found Your lost high rollers rolling home to today Well, my daddy said to me, Son, it's hard, as you shall see, To find someone on whom you can rely. And in the kitchen, Mama sneezed, And he grinned big as you please. He said, Bless you, and a tear came to his eye. I did decide that very day that I would like to live that way. Till now I've just been wasting time. It's with you that I should be. And if you feel the same as me, I'll be headed home upon the straightest line. Gonna sing no lonesome tune Oh babe, I'm a-coming soon I can't believe I've been so long away But a man must look around And you're the sweetest thing I've found Your lost high rollers rolling home Towns Van Zant's No Lonesome Tune. I see my buddy Dwight Shoemate is here. Dwight is, Dwight is listening today from the ICU at Grandview Hospital. But at least he has a guitar to play. I, I lent him a little, my little carbon fiber guitar, and uh, Aaron took it over to him this morning. And he looked like he was kind of smiling in the picture I saw on Facebook. So that's good. And... Um, Ann Mintz made it. She was in a meeting, but she's here now. We talked earlier. And uh, good, good to see you, Dwight. I hope you are, uh, hope you're going to come home tomorrow, and that episode will be mostly over. Steve Davidson's here, and Jim Greco as well. So, um, um, as I've said so many times before, <laughs> right there, there's a link for uh, PayPal or Venmo, either one is acceptable. And, uh, you know, uh, these contributions are never expected or assumed, and they're always appreciated. They help. They help the wheels keep turning here in Raleigh world. And, um, and I'll say hi to the Invisibles. I know Linda Worster is here, and Kate Mack might be here, and Judith Fox, and Kit Sarikaku and Bill Rubenstein, and Mike Stillman, and uh, Joel Bijet, and my buddy Mario Pru, who built this amazing instrument. So I say hi to you, Invisibles, and to anybody else who I might, uh, who I might not uh, notice here. There, there's Boaz Kim. Hi, Boaz. That boy can play the harmonica.
So um, the schedule. So the schedule is I'm here now. Tomorrow, Tuesday, Cozy and Charlie have just come back from a whirlwind summer from one camp to another. And they are taking the day off tomorrow and getting a little well, well-deserved well rest and relaxation. And hopefully we'll, we'll see Cozy and Charlie um, again next week. I'm going to talk to them a little later today, or at least to Charlie. I'm not sure about Cozy. And uh, that means that the next concert I have to mention is that I'll be back Wednesday at 3. And by then, I might know who is or isn't playing on uh, Thursday, but I don't know now. So uh, the likely suspects are Alex Bevan and Ma uh, Martin McNeil. And uh, each of them would be a treat to listen to. So we'll see if that happens. So when I did um, my requests over the weekend, one of the requests that came up a couple times was uh, people just asking me to play a jazz standard. So I thought I'd play this one, which I haven't played. I don't know if I've ever played it on here, maybe once. And um, it's called My Romance. And uh, Carol Pred, tell us who wrote it, because I can't remember. Probably Jimmy Van Usen. So...
My Romance, which Carol Pratt tells us is Rogers and Hart, did she say? I'm always wrong. David Arthur Radcliffe is here. Thanks, Carol. Um, Janet Wacker is here. Hi, Janet. And uh, the rest of the usual suspects are showing up here. So... So I think, uh, I think I've delivered all my little announcements for today. I played you three tunes, and I'll do you one more. And uh, Steve Black is here, down there in Florida. And um, and some of you have been asking, and many of you have been nudging me about whether I'm going to get another dog. And we're kind of getting to the place where the rubber meets the road. So in a couple weeks, I'm going to go out to Winfield for the National Guitar Championships. And I'm still really on the fence. But if I'm going to get another dog, that would be the likely time would be after I get back from Winfield. I'm not going to ask you guys to vote because I know you're all going to vote for me to get the dog because you're not going to come here and walk the dog and feed the dog and train the dog and look after the dog while I go out on the road. So you don't get a vote. <laughs> Although I know you all mean well when you tell me, oh yeah, you should get a dog. So... We'll just see how the winds of fate blow. We'll see if the, if the right dog makes an appearance. And if not, I'll always have Suki and Django and Kelly and Max the dog and Savannah Nix and Boney and Stormy. All the dogs, all the Kelpies, plus the one cattle dog maniac who I've had over the last 40 years now, 40 years of dogs. So uh, we'll just see how that goes. If I do get another dog, the, uh, the Suki Cam will be renamed and reinstituted, of course. Warren Bendler says it's the training part that is challenging. Actually, for me, the training part is the fun part. I've studied training so carefully that uh, the challenge of it and the, um, the enjoyment of making it fun for your dog really works for me. So that's not the problem. The problem is what to do with the dog when I have to go on the road, and when I want to travel and see my friends, including you guys. I'm going to be out in Ohio on the way back from Winfield, and um, uh, I will be there for my 55th high school reunion. So I'll see some of you there, I hope. and. Um, and then the day after, which is Sunday the 18th, I believe, I will probably hang around for a while, you know, to see my high school friends, but also if we can find a way to hook up with the, um, with the denizens of Raleigh World who are around Cleveland, you guys can, uh, can uh, write to me off list and, and tell me what you propose something. I'm not that crazy about going indoors and eating again. If we had nice weather, maybe we could meet up at a park or something like that. So we'll see. In the meantime, I will sing you a song that I wrote about, uh, about my first love, and that was right in at Euclid High School. It was actually started at Shore Junior High, for those of you who remember that. And um, I won't give her name, but she was very special to me, and, and uh, which is probably why it's better if I don't try to figure out where she is now. <laughs> well, I had a dream about you. And I woke up thinking of you, remembering of hearing of the hard times that you'd seen. And I remember you were moving 
to Kentucky or Virginia. And I heard about your hard time. And I wondered how you've been. Well, it's four years since I've seen you. And eight years since I loved you. And I had no love before you. Though I've been in love since then I recall the sweetness of it You were young and warm and quiet And I hoped that you would always Consider me your friend And I heard about your marriage How he was old and you were younger And of how it burst asunder And you went back home to stay And I prayed that you weren't bitter For your youth was so much sweeter And I hope you're sometimes smiling And you'll someday pass my way Well, I had a dream about you And I woke up thinking of you Remembering of hearing Of the hard times that you'd seen And I remember you were moving To Kentucky or Virginia And I heard about your hard times and I wondered how you've been. How you've been. So that's called I Had a Dream About You. It will remain my secret who that dream was about. Oh, be happy, be healthy, be brave and be calm, be kind, it's a snap, and if you get cranky, Take a, take a kind of bossa nova nap.
So a last minute hello to my old friend Zoe Blank. Zoe, nice to see you here. And uh, was there somebody else who showed up at the last minute? Nah, maybe not. Oh, Tammy Dettinger. Hi, Tammy. And Holly the dog. And Tammy was very kind to uh, get her local radio station to, to where well, they were doing a show on uh, dogs, a uh, music show, dog-themed. And she got them to play Two Old Dogs, my song. Which also, I got a, I got a note from a guy in Seattle who said somewhere on, on Seattle radio they played Two Old Dogs. I don't even know where they got it, since I carefully guard all my copies. <laughs> Anyhow, I love you guys. Thank you for spending time with me today, and uh, I will hope to see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye. <laughs>